So non-stationary Poisson processes. In this session, we consider Poisson processes with rate function. You see, so far, the Poisson processes we looked at, the lambda is constant. But we are now going to look at Poisson processes where the lambda is a function of t. The lambda is a function of t. Uh, so this time, the, the lambda mm. varies with time. The others we have looked at, the lambda is constant, so it's easier. Uh, but this one, the, the lambda varies with time. The lambda is a function of t. Such processes are called non stationary right. or non homogeneous Poisson uh, processes. So, processes where the, the lambda, you know what the lambda is, a rate per unit time. It's a function itself, it's a function yes. of time. Then we call such Poisson processes non stationary or non homogeneous processes. So, if um, this set, so it's a Poisson process with rate lambda t, then the increment nt minus ns, um, giving the, the number of events in the time interval s to t. So this interval gives the number of events in the time interval s to t. So has the Poisson distribution with parameter, with parameter given that by this integration. So here, the parameter of the Poisson process is going to determine using integration since it's a function of t. Okay, so right. that, that's what you are going to do. So, and the increment of a disjoint interval are independent, just like the, the other one. So we, we move straight away with an example. So I'll finish explaining. So we start with an example. So, um, so okay. we start example 13. Demand on the first aid facility in the certain location occur according to a non stationary Poisson process with the following rate function. So, this is what you call the rate function. So, unlike the previous mm -hmm. one where lambda is fixed, but this one lambda is a function of t. So, lambda is not oh, constant. Where t is measured in hours from the opening time of the facility. So the, the question, so find the probability that two demands occur in the first hour of operation. And the, the probability that two demands occur in the second hour of operation. And uh, we also find the probability that one demand occur in the last, the last three hours of operation. So A says that we should find the probability that two demands occur in the first hour of operation. And in the first hour of operation, lambda, lambda is equal to 3t. So we are going to use this 3t. The first hour is from 0 to 1. Second hour is from, where? It's from 1 to 2, where the lambda is constant for the second hour. But for the third hour, okay. uh, lambda uh, 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 for the next three hours, that's two to five, the last three hours, the lambda is defined from five, five is defined as five minus t, okay? So A, what is A saying? Mm. A says that we should find the probability that said. two demands occur in the first hour of operation. So first of all, we need the mean for the Poisson distribution. And because uh, we want to find um, the, um, the probability of two demands, we are interested in the first hour. In the first hour, the lambda t is equal to 3t. So you integrate 3t to find the mean. You integrate t, t, uh, 3t from 0 to 1 because the interval is from zero to one. So when you integrate, you are going to get three over two. Okay. It will be three over two when you integrate. So that three over two becomes the, how do you call it? The lambda. It becomes the mean for the Poisson distribution. Have you seen it? So hence the probability that uh, between zero, the time zero to one, two events occur. 
will be mu the mean raised to the power two, e raised to the power minus the mean over two factorial. So we use the Poisson distribution to calculate that. The only difference is here is that the t is not constant. So whenever you are giving a time interval, you look at where the time interval falls, then you, you integrate. Right. You do an integration between that time interval with respect to t to determine the mean for the Poisson distribution. So here, the mean for the Poisson distribution is three over two. And the probability that in between zero, the time zero to one, two events occur will be the mean raised to the power two, that the number of occurrence is two, and E raised to the power minus the mean all over mm. two factorial. So that when you simplify will give you 0 0.251. Then the second question B, so if you find the probability of two demands occur in the second hour of operation. The second hour of operation is simple. You don't need to do any integration. But within the second hour of operation, the mm. lambda is a constant three. So use three straight away as three, yeah. your mean. You don't need to do any integration. You, you get it. So the second hour of operation, lambda mm. is a constant. So you don't need to do any integration. So we use three as our mean. So you find the probability that within the second hour of operation, that is between the time one to two, that is second hour of operation, two events will occur. So that would be the mean, which is three raised to the power two. Mm. Mm. All right, my typing is it correct? I think this two. minus two should be minus three. Minus three. Uh -huh. So it's a mean raised to the power two, e raised to the power minus the mean over two factorial. So this minus two is supposed to be minus three. So you can change it in your notes, but I'm sure the answer is correct. So you can also check the answer whether it's correct or not. So this minus two should be minus three. So that, 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 that is it. Then we want to find the probability that one demand okay, or, 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 uh, one demand occurs in the last three hours of operation. The last three hours of operation between two and five. Are you saying it? So we are going to use five minus t. So we integrate to find the mean for the Poisson distribution. We integrate from two to five, five minus t dt, and that will give us 4.5. So here our mean is 4.5. Okay. And you want to find the probability between two so and five, only one five. event of okay. So it will be the mean raised to the power one, e raised to the power minus the mean, which is 4.5, all over one factorial. Mm. So that will give us 0 0.005. Please, do you understand it? Yes, please. Great. So now look at example 14. Example 14, we are still using example 13 to solve example 14. Example 14 says, so find the probability that two demands occur in the first two hours of operation. What are the first two hours of operation? The first hour of operation is, is the, the lambda is 3t. And the second hour of operation, the lambda is what three, which is a constant. So this one will be split into two because it's falling into two different uh, uh, interval, time interval with different functions for lambda. Okay. Do, do you understand? So mm. um, in this case, first of all, in the first one hour, the lambda is equal to three t. By the second uh, one, uh, one hour lambda is as a constant, that's uh, three. So we differentiate three T first, with respect to T and differentiate uh, from zero to one and differentiate three with the second okay. hour from one to two. So not differentiate, integrate, sorry. Okay. We integrate three T 
with respect to t from zero to one and integrate t from one to two dt. And when you do the integration, the result will be 4.5. You remember when we did a 3t from the, from the previous, we had 1.5. And this one is a constant. So 1.5 1 plus, 5, yes. um, uh, 1.5 plus three will give 4.5. So therefore, from from the time interval zero to two, um, it, it, it has the number of events that occur between the time interval from zero to two. As a Poisson distribution, we mean 4.5. That's the probability that within the first two hours, that's from zero to two, two events occur will be the mean raised to the power two, e raised to the power minus the mean over two factorial. So this will give you 0 0.1125. So that 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 is it. So that's how we we solve problems where the lambda is not constant. You integrate you integrate over the limit given um, the 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 function, then you obtain the the mean for the Poisson distribution. So in the same way, example 15, which is also a past question, it has been solved also have to do with demand De, uh, demand but this time the functions are 2t 2 and 4 minus t so in the same procedure as explained in the example 13 and 14 example 15 okay. has been solved uh-huh so you can go through so you want in the first two hours of operation in the first two hours of operation that's a the probability that there are two demands in the first two hours of operation. So that will fall under these two places, to these two time interval, uh, zero to one and one to two. So you integrate two T from zero to one, and you also integrate the, the constant two from one to two. And uh, from zero to one, this will give you one plus two, plus two, that the second hour will give you a mean of three. So we want to find the probability of two events to occur within this interval. So it will be three raised to the power two, e raised to the power minus three over two factorial. So that will give you 0 0.2240. So the other one that in the second two hours of operation, the second two hours of operation, um, the first two hours of operation, and the second two hours of operation, the second two hours of operation will be from two to four. Is that not so? The first two hours of operation is zero to two. Okay. The second yes. two hours of operation will be two to four. Wow. Have you seen it? So two to four, the, the rate yes, yes. four minus T. Mm -hmm. So integrate from zero, uh, two to four, four minus T. When integrate, you get two. So that becomes the mean for the Poisson distribution. So you solve it, you get 0 0.2707. So that is this. Then example 1.6 also have been solved. So you can go through the same procedure. Almost the same question. Okay. Then example 17 also has been solved. These are all past questions. Example 17 also have been solved. The same procedure. It's all about demand, demand. So this approach can be applied a lot in the economics. It, you see, it can be applied a lot in the economics. So basically that is that. So that, that, that is the last one. It has also been solved. So it's a matter of knowing the rate and integrating with respect to T, the function of lambda to get the mean and know the number of events that are occurring then use the Poisson distribution to solve the problem. Any question? Any question? No, sir. It's clear. It's clear, sir. Very clear. Okay. So, Satini, thank you very much.